hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you something very special i'm going to show you how you can achieve any background you want using just your phone or a laptop and trust me it's completely free this is 2024 and you want to start your own youtube channel or you want to start being a content creator let your own aesthetic room not stop you from creating content i'm going to show you how you can change your background to any setup you want at any time all you need are three apps you're going to need the leonardo ai your canva and your CapCut. so let's get into it okay so first things first i forgot to mention you can actually get your images online so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to type aesthetic background pictures like for a bedroom so that's where i'm going to get my picture from is easily accessible and there's another way to do this but i'm showing you like an easier way to get your pictures so when you load the pictures you make sure to go to images so that you can get just options so now that i'm there i'm just going to look through everything what i'm looking for is more of a minimalistic vibe so that i can fit into my background much better and my lighting setup so i'm looking for a bedroom i'm looking for a bedroom that has good lighting that my video can easily just blend in and not stand out a lot so i'm just scrolling through to see my options and I love this vibe so when i click on this one i'm just going to save it to photos so i'm also going to get another background setup so i'm going for an office space next so that i can have like different options so the next one is an office space i'm just going to type that out okay so now we have different options i'm also going to like look at everything to pick out which one i actually like i have no idea so i'm just going to click on any one that looks nice i really love this setup but i'm also going to look down see if any other one catches my eye then i ended up going for the first one so i'm just going to hold on that picture and save to photos then i'm also going to get a third one just to have like options like i mentioned so the next one we're going to search for is a living room like the sitting room area so we're just going to search on that and wait for it to load okay so now that it's up i'm just going to look through it whichever one catches whichever one catches my eye basically like i mentioned i'm going for a minimalistic vibe that has good lighting i actually love this one so i'm just going to hold it down and save to photos so that's another that's a very easy way to get your pictures so i'm also going to show you the next way you can get your pictures very fast and easy you open the leonardo ai app so you're just going to click on it and this is what comes up first so you're going to create an account the first thing you're going to do is create an account for this app so i'm going to sign up using google because it was way faster so you just pick your google account that you want to use and it's very very straightforward so this is when it loads so this is the first thing that comes up you choose whichever niche you're looking for but i went with stock image then you now create your username so yeah this is where you create your username and it will actually check if the username is available and if it's not you have to find another one but i just went to my name and my surname initials then you're just going to wait on that for you to show if it's good for you to use if it's valid so we're just going to go click on next so now we're going to clear this off so this is the first thing you see when you get on this page I'm just going to show you showing you the template like the vibe of the site
then you will now click on create new image so here you have an option to write down all that you want you can give a description of what you want so i'm just going to click on office space this is what came up for the ai picture and i'm just going to download that i didn't really like it so i ended up not using it so the next thing we're going to go on is canva canva is like if you're a content creator this is like an app that you should have you can create designs thumbnails websites every single thing i'm always using this app to create my create my youtube thumbnail and also instagram stories so we're going to click on youtube thumbnail because that's the size we want for our pictures our background pictures for it to fit in that youtube size so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on that arrow key then i'm going to go to camera row and click on the pictures that i saved from the internet so i'm going to add it to the page so what you're going to basically do is stretch it out for it to fit onto that youtube thumbnail size that's the main reason why we're using canva to get that exact size for our video background so when you're sure that it fits the size then you're just going to go to the far right and click on download Then when you want to download this make sure you're downloading on png and it's and not on a video format because if not it's not going to save properly and it's not going to yeah do it so you're just going to click on download and wait for that to download So now that is saved to camera roll. So we're going to do the exact same thing to all the other pictures we saved. So we can have options. Go click on the arrow key. Go to camera roll. Add a new photo. It's already or replacing the picture. So it's already fit to the scale. So we're just going to be doing that for the rest and just downloading every picture. so now that we've saved the last image we're going to actually go to CapCut now and click on new project then we're going to find the image that we saved and we're going to click on the first one and yeah this is how it's going to look we're just going to increase that stretch it out a little bit because we're going to add a video to that so i'm going to look for a video that i'm going to add just a short video so that i can give you an example so now that we've clicked on that video we're going to go down and look for the overlay key make sure you highlight the video when you're looking for this so that you'll be able to find the overlay key so i'm going to overlay that video now you can see that so we're going to just cut out what's left because we don't need those excess clip just make sure it fits the video then we're going to highlight 
the overlay then we're going to go to cut image and we're going to return, go to remove background it's going to automatically remove your background for you so you don't have to do anything so i'm just going to wait for that to get to 100 percent then you see that your background is going to go off okay so now that it's off you can see that it looks good so what i'm going to do is just to adjust the image a little bit so that i'm more centered and i like the way it looks so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to effect and i'm going to click on video effect and type out blur so it's the first one that comes up so i'm going to also click on it again to be able to adjust it to the one that fits perfectly that makes the video look more clean so this is the range i'm going for then we're going to click on the done the arrow key that we're done with that then i'm just going to stretch out that effect for it to fit the whole video so that it can be blurred at the background for the entire video then now i'm going to go on filters i'm just going to click on any filters that makes the video look better so i'm just going to play around with this you can do whatever you want you can check out more filters but i'm just going to use this too then i'm going to click on adjust because i like to sharpen my videos so that it's more clearer you can see a difference as i'm increasing the range so this is how my video is looking now so what i'm going to do i put a split on that video because i want to add another background to it to show you that i can change it so i'm going to look for replace and click on that then click on the office image so this is how it's going to look so i'm going to add a transition so that it can easily transition into that image and look cleaner so i'm going to add a swipe left transition for it to look a little bit more clean and so the video can just change see that's how easy it is and it's so so easy you can just play around with this whatever you want to add if you want to export in 4k you can export in 4k i'm just showing you like different ways you can export in basically and your video looks more clean so yeah thank you guys for watching let me know if you love this type of content i'll be so happy to do it i have a lot of ideas to share especially for anyone who wants to start up content creation this 2024 and let nothing stop you from getting there thank you guys to my next video bye